we're going to do some positioning for the esophagram and we're going to be positioning the AP and the RAO and the right lateral esophagus. Now, the radiologist takes a lot of his images of the esophagus when he's doing the fluoroscopy imaging and not, not all the time will it be required overheads from the technologist, but in the event that he does want some overhead imaging, when you're positioning for the esophagus, just remember it's going to be midline, so we're going to have the longitudinal line midline. We'll have the top of our light field at the level of the thyroid cartilage because we know the thyroid cartilage is at the level of C456 area, so we know that we're getting the top of the esophagus at that point. Some radiologists like to see the oropharynx. If that is the case, then you can start up as high as right above the mouth so that you're getting the oropharynx all the way down to the beginning of the stomach. I'm going to position for the level where the esophagus begins. Okay, and then you can collimate on the sides a little bit because we don't need to see the entire chest. And then I'm going to give the patient a, a cup of barium. Now, you can have the patient turn their head to the side, okay? And then you're going to put the straw in the patient's mouth. And then at this point, now, see how David's got his arm across his chest? You've got to watch out for that because we don't want the patient's arm in the way. So have that arm down. He's got his head turned, ready to drink. Now, once I step out of the room and go to the generator, I'm going to be watching from the control panel as he's drinking. So you just instruct your patient to drink one swallow right after another. And as you see, Okay, start swallowing, David. When the patient swallows, you're going to see the movement in the throat. The thyroid cartilage is going to move up and out. So when you see that movement, you know they're swallowing. After you see about three of those movements, you can go ahead and shoot your exposure at that time because by, by then you've got pretty much the entire esophagus filled. So this would be our AP image. And then we're going to do our RAO. So I'm going to have David turn over to his stomach. He's going to start out prone. Okay, have him put his right arm down by his side. Okay, have him bend his left knee. There went our barium. And then roll up just a little bit more. Okay, bring your hip down. Okay. Okay, so let me get a fresh cup of barium for David since it dropped on the floor. And, and you got to be careful about that because that does happen when you're positioning your patient. If you just set your cup down in their movement, they could knock it right off the table. So if that's the case, just get your fresh cup of barium. Now I'm going to hand David the cup once again, position the straw in his mouth. And then we'll go ahead and cover him up. Now the patient angle, there's a range of 35 to 40 degrees for the esophagus. I'm going to bring his shoulder down just a little bit. Now you need to palpate the spine. So I'll palpate the spine and then you're going to be moving your line two inches to the upside so that your longitudinal line will be two inches up from the spine. Again, the top of my light field is going to be at the level of his thyroid cartilage because that's right below the thyroid cartilage is where the esophagus begins. Okay, so this is our position for the RAO esophagus. Then it's this time I'll ask David, start drinking, take one swallow right after another. I'll step back and go to the control panel and as he's swallowing, we're watching the movement of his throat and after you see the movement three times or four times you know that the esophagus should be full barium and you should have a nice image of the esophagus. 
Okay, and then moving to the right lateral, have the patient lay on the right side. Okay, scoot towards me some. Okay, now I'm going to bring the cup up, let them hold on to it. Okay, put your head down. Now on the esophagus, on the lateral you can either have both the arms up real high, we're going to be centered midline or mid-coronal, or you can bring this arm back, like just to get that shoulder out of the way, and then center mid-coronal. I think this gives you a nice cleaner shot of the esophagus when you have that shoulder out of the way. Sometimes your older patients are not able to hold this position. But again, you're going to instruct your patient to drink one swallow right after another. And after you see the movement of the throat from swallowing three, four times, then you would shoot your image. Now, I'm going to take this from them. Okay. Now you can go ahead and lay on your back. And then we're going to do some upper GI imaging. Okay, you want to stop it?